Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your boy, Jay Vanity, and I'm back with another video. Bitch, we did it today. We did a very, like, Valentine's date night, or I just want to go and get my badge played with type of feel for Valentine's. Yeah. But I'm definitely feeling this. It's very, like, purpley but still warm and just like romantic and cute. Definitely something you guys can rock out for a date night or even out to the club. Whatever's clever, you guys choose that part. But I am definitely feeling this if you guys are, stay tuned. And I just wanna say thank you for coming back. And if you're new to my channel, hey, what's up? I see you, thank you for bringing all your friends, especially not the slutty one, because there's only one slut at this party. This guy right here. Well, anyways, you guys, after that, um, definitely stay tuned if you're interested in knowing how I got this look. So, stay tuned, keep watching, and remember, I always love you guys. Be that boss and keep it popping. So, let's get into the video in 3, 2, 1. Alright, guys, let's get started. As you can see, I've already done one eye off camera. The only thing I haven't done is put on lashes. I'll save that to last. But I've also done my foundation, highlight, and brows. Um, I have videos doing those, so those will be linked down below. But to get started on the eye today, it's already been primed. I primed with um, just some, the Shape Tape Concealer and just with some translucent powder, so we're good to go off of that. So to get started today, we are actually going to take a... And these brushes are going to look dirty just because I've already done this eye, but we're going to start off with the Morphe R40 brush. We're going to go ahead and start off by taking the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. One of my favorites, if you're into smokies, browns, just a warm tone eye, then bitch, this is your palette. Like, what else do you need in life? Like, I could live and breathe off of these tones, but I'm pretty sure everyone can. But anyways, let's continue on. So we're going to go ahead and start off by taking a transition color, and we are going to go ahead and take Burnt Orange here with a little bit of Ray Raw Sienna. And we're gonna go ahead and place that here in our crease. And once again, that's on a Morphe R40 brush. So just tap off the extra. And we're gonna go ahead and place that into the crease. And oh my God, you guys, I have the black mirror. Have you seen the red one that's gonna come out? Yes, bitch, that will be in my possession. As well as the, as well as the other blood sugar palette from Jeffree Star. I cannot wait. But anyways, go ahead and take that into the crease. And we're just going to go ahead and just buff this into the crease with circular and um, windshield wiper motions. And what I'm doing is I'm getting the color and I'm not like following the curve of my eye here. I'm kind of extending it straight on because I kind of want a very like over exaggerated crease area I don't know I just like to switch up my eye shape sometimes just play around with shapes and see what I get like why not that's what makeup's for right not to be some boring ass bitch but you know to each his own so now that you have that general blend going you're gonna go ahead and now take actually we're gonna go ahead and keep the same brush and with the same Modern Renaissance palette, we are now going to dip into this last color here on the bottom row. This is regular uh, of where we just put the previous color. And this is going to go ahead and warm up the eye. Give us that warmth that we crave and need. And yeah, as you can see, and if you feel like you have any more product just always tap it off throughout the process and I just keep going back and in with circular and back and forth motions so go ahead and put that brush down the Morphe R40 we're gonna put that down and what I'm gonna do now like you guys know by now with every video if you've been watching me um, we're gonna go ahead and take this brush here it is the Morphe E23 brush we're gonna go ahead this is like my eraser with no product on it I'm gonna just go ahead and go over those edges just to make sure they are buffed out they're not looking harsh they're not looking crazy we're not trying to look like a fucking 
Van Buren hooker at four in the morning after a rough night, you know. We're gonna go ahead and take the Morphe R39 now. It's a more precise brush. We're gonna go ahead and take the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette now. How are you doing? This is oh, such a good palette. We're gonna go ahead and take the shades Fetish and the color Dominatrix. We're gonna go ahead and mix those two on this Morphe R39. And we're gonna go ahead and place that into our crease to go ahead and give us some depth. We don't wanna look bland, we don't wanna look oval. We wanna look cute as fuck. So, tap that up. And go ahead and just drive it into our crease here. Sorry, it got stuck. So now, once again, I'm going to go back in with this Morphe. This is a R40 with nothing on it. I'm going to go ahead and just go over that. Bitch, like I said, be prepared to blend. I'm letting you know now. Also, just go ahead and bring this forward so now that we go ahead and have that what I'm gonna do now just to add a little more depth and darkness in the outer corner it's going to be just a little craft brush from Michaels it gets a little pencil brush like this one I'm gonna go in with just some dominatrix nothing else that dark chocolate brown place that just on the tip top off the extra and we're just gonna go ahead and kind of wiggle this in the outer corner All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take the Morphe, ooh, the button, the letters are rubbing off, the R43, I believe. Just a little brush, angled brush like this. Um, I use this to carve out um, my brows, and I'll also use it to carve out like any creasing, or, or my crease, because it is like precise and little. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light on the back of my hand. I just use that as my little tray here, just a little bit, just like literally a mount like that. And I'm going to go ahead and I learned this trick from watching Nicole Guerrero and it actually worked. Um, what I've seen her do is she'll go ahead and take like a little dot of the concealer and I'll place it like right here about the middle and I'll go ahead and look up and as you can see it left like a distinct little mark that's where I'll start to carve out my crease since I know and I'm just taking a little bit and I'm just dragging that on my eye such a good trick so if you guys feel like you get like a lot of creasing in your eye definitely try that little trick where you put a dot you look up and wherever the eyeshadow falls into your crease that's where you're gonna carve it out just so when you know throughout the day when from blinking or whatever you're not gonna get that creasing especially if you're wearing like foils or metallics or anything that's gonna be shimmery or noticeable you're gonna get to avoid that whole like problem so it's definitely a lifesaver so try it maybe it'll help you out or if you guys have other tips, definitely please leave them down below. I love reading your guys' comments. Okay, perfect. So what we're going to do now to get this color, I went ahead and used like three different colors to get this like shimmery, like metallic type of purple. Um, I went ahead and started off with the base by using Jeffree Star's um, Skin Frost and Nefri. Let's go ahead and take some on that. And what I like to also do is I'll spray it with a little bit of Fix Plus and just let that have a moment and I'll go ahead and pack that all over my lid especially I'll use this to get in the crease so I can get that precise line and I kind of just use that on the line here just to keep that crisp and what I'll do now after I went over that line just to make sure it's set I'll go in with my finger and I'll just press it into my eye just to make sure because I feel like this sometimes with these highlighters this is the best way to get pigment or really like the color payoff especially with the colored ones with any type of highlighter just not Jeffries 
Um, I just like to use my finger. I feel like the finger works best for me. We're gonna go ahead and go in with the ColourPop. This is a Super Shock highlighter and the our Super Shock Cheek highlighter in the shade Monster. And it looks like white here, but it's very like iridescent with like purples, pinks, like very warm tone, I guess. Like really pretty. Let me see if I can like swatch it. And it's really weird, like it's spongy. It feels wet, but it says it's a solid like, it's like a very like, feels like a wet consistency. I don't know if you guys can see this, but. Like, it has a little bit of, like, a purple reflect. You can't really see it with this lighting. But anyways, I like to use it because it does have that purple and pinkish tones that we have going on in the eye. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of that onto my finger. And just on top of that nephri, I'm going to go ahead and dab it. Just dab it. And it just adds, like, a little more pop, just a little more sheen. And since that Jeffrey, um, since that ColourPop shade is, um, more of a, like, a wet type of feeling, like, I like to just go in and go ahead and set that. I like to go in with my Jeffrey Star. This is a Beauty Killer palette. Um, sorry, I had to grab it. I like to go in with this shade here. This is in the shade Princess. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that same brush that we used earlier to pack on the Nefri. I like to go in with that. And sometimes just like a little dab of this pink, just add a little color and, but mostly just that princess shade. And we're going to go ahead and go over that. I know you're like, damn bitch, but it like, I really wanted to build this like pinky purplish shade. Like this could be now that I look at it, a very Valentine's day look. Okay. So now that we have that packed on there and we're looking like fresh fish off the motherfucking sea like fresh pussy just fresh mm -hmm. we're gonna go ahead and go back in with the morphe this is the r39 and we're gonna go ahead and go over this edge here just to go ahead and do some blending so everything is cohesive nothing is looking crazy go ahead and blend that in and what I kind of want to do now, just to add a little more purple feel, I'm going to go back in with the Androgyny palette. And I'm going to take this shade here. This is Androgyny. And it's very, like, a purpley, cool tone, like, plummy color. It's really hard to explain. Like, very California raisin. We're going to go ahead and take some of that. And we're going to go ahead and put that in the outer corner. Since... Just to blend that all in with the purplish tone that we have going with Nefri and Monster and that princess shade that we mix together from the Jeffrey palette and ColourPop. I'm going to go ahead and blur that under. And take some more of that androgyny shade and I'm going to kind of drag that on the lower lash line too. Getting just things done today, bitch. She is not playing games. She is on a schedule. Children need to be picked up from soccer today. She needs to be full beat. She needs to let the soccer dads know she's there to play. And she'll be the net and they'll she'll take the balls. Is that vulgar? It is. Alright, so now that we have that looking cute, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my inner corner. And I'm going to go ahead and take that Nefri shade again and place that on my inner corner. Because I like to use this as a base since it's like more wet. I'm going to just use my finger. Pop that right there in my inner corner. And I'm going to go ahead and take the shade. This is going to be Coco Bling from Artist Couture. Definitely. Oh my god, you guys. If you haven't used this, use it. Like, it's legit everything you could imagine i want to get um illuminati and i think mermaid fantasy is what it's called it's like this super dope like iridescent like oceany bluish green i don't know how to explain it it's really pretty you guys definitely go to his website or his instagram and check those out like i'm obsessed and i just have this one 
And okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take that cocoa bling on that same little packing brush that we've been using. Go ahead and place that in the inner corner here. So we're gonna go ahead and just place that packet on. I want a really bright inner corner. Okay, and she just blew the other sister off the water. She's feeling a little jealous, so now I'm gonna pack on the same thing here. Bitch, yes, mm, everything. So now we're gonna go ahead and line the eyes. So now that I, you see I have the white um, water line, um, before we get to that, I'm going to go ahead and line my lower lash line. And what I did for that, now that we already have the smoke going on, I'm going to just go in with this little um, Sonia Kashuk brush from Target. It's a little angled brush. And I've been liking this lately. So instead of using like pencils, I like using powders to out outline my eyes. So I'm going to go back in with the Kat Von D um, black shade there from that palette. And I'll go ahead and get my mirror here and just go ahead and line the eyes. I like using this brush because the angle on it is really stiff, which is good for outlining. Or even, I'll use this for gel liner um, when I use for like my wings and stuff. I'll go ahead and use that. So go ahead and just take this Okay, and to blend out that black um, lash line, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Morphe Little R39 brush with the color. This is regular from the Anastasia palette, from the Modern Renaissance, and just blow out that lower lash line, that black. And just drag that right under. Okay, perfect. So now that we have that, uh, we're going to go ahead and line our waterline. And what I did is I went ahead and took the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And I just took a little Nether Michaels Craft Brush. It's just like a little flat brush here. We're going to go ahead and place that on the brush. So just pick some up like that. Since this is like a really white tip, I can't stick it in my eye because it's going to like go everywhere I go ahead and line the wash the, the water line with that and this is going to go ahead and open up the eye as you can see so go ahead and just yes bitch look at you looking cute trying to feel your stud what I'm going to do now guys uh, since it is an ugly process, um, I'm going to go ahead and just throw on some lashes and um, a lip color, possibly on and off camera. But I'm going to mostly go ahead and throw on my lashes and I'll be right back with All you. Alright you guys, I am back. I went ahead and threw on some lashes and also I threw on these little jewels here as you can see from Michaels. They literally come in a little pack like this. They're like two or three bucks. I threw those on and I went ahead and threw on a lip as well. The lip I'm wearing today is actually a combo, if I can find it. It's actually, my base is Jeffree Star's Mannequin. And I went ahead and also lined my lips with NYX Peekaboo Neutral. Such a good, like, neutral, like, on-hand lip liner. If you ever need one, it goes with all nude lips. And to add some shine and gloss, I went ahead and used the Fenty Beauty Lip Balm or Gloss Balm. This is in the shade Fenty Glow. They only have one, and I am obsessed. What do you guys think? Like, I think this is everything. Like, as well as everything I use as usual, it's going to be listed down below, as well as all my social media. I just want to say thank you guys for coming back for another video, watching my crazy ass, and just being on this journey with me to just get better and better and better, I guess. But definitely, if you guys are feeling this, leave some love down below. And I definitely have some new videos coming. I'm thinking maybe like an anti-Valentine's look since this is more of a cutesy, like date night kind of feel. So why not do an anti-Valentine's? If you guys are into that, let me know down below. Thanks for watching. Thank you for being here and always just supporting me. And remember, if you need to get hold of me, everything will be listed down there. So thank you guys for watching and here's to the next video. 
Peace, and remember, always be that boss, and keep it popping. Cute. Later.